Hello everybody, welcome back to Scuba Tai, and today we'll be talking about the new dive computer that's coming out, which is actually an Apple Watch, and it's called the Apple Watch Ultra. I'm mainly going to be going over the dive computer abilities within the watch, and at the end of the video I'm going to be going over the pros and cons of buying this watch to use as your dive computer. Stay tuned to see if this Apple Watch Ultra is the future of dive computers or is just a complete waste of money. On September 7th, the Apple Watch Ultra was unveiled at their event. This watch is used for activities such as hiking, mountain climbing, and even scuba diving. The watch itself has a case that's made out of titanium, it has a 49mm display, and has a price of $800. It is also water resistant up to 100 meters, includes a compass, and has 36 hours of battery life. It is also EN13319 certified, which means that it passes the safety requirements to be able to use as a dive computer. Apple is collabing with Hewish Outdoors to create an Oceanic Plus app which connects to the watch for dive planning and post-dive data. The Oceanic Plus app states that creating dive plans and post-dive data has never been easier. Apple states that the Oceanic Plus app will help give easy to read designs for your dive computer and also have simple ways to change the screen instead of having the regular dive watch complexity of changing the screen. Oceanic Plus also has a safety algorithm to let you know when to have a safety stop, at what depth, and how long to have it. The moment you get out of the water, the data from your dive transfers from your watch to your phone almost instantly, making it so you don't have to log your dive after. The watch also includes a depth gauge, which includes the current time, the current depth, the max depth, the duration under the water, and the temperature of the water. Apple also gives you the option to buy an ocean band, which is actually made out of fluoroelastomer rubber. This is a rubber that makes the band flexible and lightweight, so it's easy to fit around your thick wetsuit. So there is a free version and a paid version of the Oceanic Plus app. The free version gives you simple data that allows you to snorkel and swim, and the Oceanic Plus version actually turns that watch into a dive computer. The subscription is $5 daily, $10 a month, or $80 a year. There's also no word about being able to change from air to nitrox yet, but we'll see in the future. So after going over all the information on the features of the dive computer mode, I will be now giving you my pros and cons of this watch being able to work as a dive computer. We'll first go into the pros. So the first pro is that it's an Apple Watch and a dive computer into one. I have an Apple Watch myself and a separate dive computer when I go diving, so having the inconvenience of changing it, it's not that much of an inconvenience, but having your Apple Watch on you at the all time and then going into a dive right after your regular daily activities, it's, it would be nice to have. Another pro is that it's EN13319 certified. This just gives it validation for safety to use as an actual dive computer. This just makes me feel more comfortable bringing this on a dive than it not being certified. The next pro is that it is an OLED dive computer for a good price. When I was looking to buy a dive computer a while back, I wanted an OLED uh, display on my dive computer, but they were all over a grand. So I think this is a good price for one of these. I also like how the Oceanic Plus app lets you plan dives and log dives easier than ever before. You could either log dives or plan dives from your watch or your phone. The software for this dive computer is very simple but it's very high quality to make sure that you're actually getting a bang for your buck. I also like how it's very clean and stylish. Most dive computers you can't wear on a daily basis because it's too big and bulky and just doesn't look right with your outfit. But you could literally wear this uh, to a business meeting and then go diving right after it's awesome my last pro for this watch is that it's made out of titanium while you're changing your tanks you won't have to worry about banging it on other tanks or on the boat because it's so strong and durable now we'll start with the cons of this watch what really prevents me from buying this to become my actual dive computer is that the subscription that you need in order to turn the watch into a dive computer 
It's $80 a year, which seems like a pretty hefty price after you're already paying $800 for the watch. That price will add up, and after two or three years of diving, you're almost already spending a grand on a dive computer. When if you usually when you keep when you buy a dive computer, you're going to keep it for a really long time. So let's say you're diving for five years, you're definitely going to be spending over a grand on just making this a dive computer. The battery life also throws me off a little bit, only lasting 36 hours, which is not like long at all for an Apple Watch that's long, but if you're going to wear it uh, as like a lifestyle watch, you're going to wear it every single day, you're going to want to make sure that you charge it every single night for you to dive. Most dive computers, you don't have to change your batteries for a few years. This, you have to charge it every other day pretty much, like that doesn't seem worth it to me. I also think that it's too new and could have many bugs and glitches and it hasn't even been used by the general public yet so I don't know if I'm comfortable using it right away. I want to see how it operates with uh, people buying it and just see how it does because I'm not comfortable using something that's right out of the production and not even used yet by the general public. My last main con is that it doesn't say anything about changing your air from air to nitrox. Usually when I dive, I try to get nitrox as much as possible just because it makes me, I feel like I could dive longer with nitrox. I feel more fresh air getting into my system. And after a dive, I don't feel as groggy and I just, I feel more with it. So usually I dive with nitrox and if there's no nitrox option with this watch, it definitely makes me hesitant to buy this. My overall opinion on the watch, I think it's really cool to see Apple do this because I've always wanted to use my Apple Watch while diving. I love my Apple Watch. I wear it every single day. To know that I can now have an Apple Watch to wear every single day and then go diving right after if I wanted to, I think that's pretty freaking cool. If I wanted to be brutally honest, I would definitely trust my own dive computer more than the Apple Watch Ultra because my dive computer was made specifically for diving while the Apple Watch Ultra was made for multiple purposes and that using it as a dive computer is only a subcategory of all the uses that it has. If you do dive consistently, I would stay away from this watch just because the battery life is so low. I would hate to worry about forgetting about charging it and then being under the water and having it die on me. That would be like my worst nightmare. That'd be bad. And also having it so new, there would be a lot of bugs and glitches. I would just stick to your old dive computer that you use now. I'll probably wait until the second or third generation of this watch to buy it just so they can fix all the bugs and glitches and maybe they can improve the battery life a little more. If they can make it a week, then it makes more sense to have it as a dive computer. And also the subscription really throws me off. If they can get that to a uh, little price or not no subscription at all, then it's definitely a game changer for me. But overall, I think it is a really cool, unique piece that opens up the future of dive computers for us. And I think it would be cool to dive with in the future when it becomes more uh, fixed, I feel like there's going to be a lot of bugs and glitches, but I feel like when it becomes like upgraded, becomes better, it's going to be a really good dive computer to dive with. Now, I'd love to hear your opinion on this Apple Watch Ultra as a dive computer. So in the comments below, tell me your opinion and if you like it, if you hate it, if you're kind of iffy about it, just let me know. If this video helped you in any way, to give you information about this new watch as a dive computer, please give me a subscribe and a thumbs up. It'll help my channel a lot and it'll help me a lot. Thanks again. This is Scuba Tai, and I'll see you next time.